When you first receive your TV Ears digital system, the inside of the box should look something like this. If we move all the manuals and paper away, you can see underneath it the parts of the system. This transmitter we have here is the device that we would hook up to the TV. This device hooks up and acts as a charger and a transmitter for the headset. Then we have the wireless headset itself. This is a wireless headset that'll work anywhere in the same room as that transmitter. We have several different ways we can hook it up. First of all, we have this cord with our red and black plugs. This is our RCA analog audio cord, and it would be used to hook up to the TV into a spot that said audio out with two round holes. This one here with two green plugs is our analog 3.5 millimeter audio cord. This one would be used to hook up to a TV that had an audio out that was a single hole. Finally, we have the AC adapter, a power cord for the system. That'll plug into electricity to provide the transmitter with power. Now, there is a final cord that you want to make sure you don't miss underneath everything else in the box. This is our optical cord. This is the cord that we'd use on most newer televisions. And so it's probably the cord you're going to end up using to connect to your TV. Now to install the TV or system, the first thing we're going to need to do is get electricity for the transmitter. We can start by using the AC adapter, this cord here. By using this, we can plug one end into an electrical outlet and the other into the back of the transmitter. On the back of the transmitter, go into this far right blue hole here, the DC-12V. Once that's connected there into electricity, then we can plug it into the TV. But to find out how to do that, we're going to need to take a look at the TV to see what you have on it. On the back of your TV, you'll need to find which of the ports back there are labeled with the word out. Depending on what kind it is, we may use a different cord from the TV ears. If you have a small round hole like this, we may use the 3.5 millimeter analog audio cord. If instead you have a pair of white and red holes like this, we're going to use the black and red RCA analog cord to connect to there. If you have a digital audio out, this square-shaped hole with a cover over it, we're going to use the optical cord, the one with the caps on it that we had at the bottom of the box. Finally, there's another type of connection the TV ears can use, however the cord for it did not come with the system. If on the back of your TV you have a digital audio out that's a round hole like this orange one, that would mean that we need a digital coaxial connection. You can get those cords from any local electronics store. Once it's connected, make sure the transmitter is 3 to 5 feet off the ground with the lights facing towards you, and then make sure the headset's charged for at least 10 hours before use, and you should be all set.